When talk comes up of great British piano makers, one make comes up really in front of all the others, and it's John Broadwood. And this is a John Broadwood of London. So this is Matthew from MPG Pianos, and I've just finished overhauling this one. And you can see it's got a lovely 1930s case, light brown, but that's interesting. And I'll show you why when I take off the casework in a minute. But I just wanted to show you its name there, the famous John Broadwood and Sons, London inlaid name. So here you can see inside the piano and you'll see that the hammers have been reshaped and that it's got new damper felts and anything that needs doing has been done. And it still plays really well. Um, I've regulated it obviously very thoroughly so it's got a very pleasing touch and tone. Beautiful tone if you're after a vintage tone a lot of people prefer the um, older style pianos with that with that tone and if your budget doesn't go up to one of these new type Yamahas then this might be perfect. There's its piano number 97098 and that as I say dates it amazingly to no not the 30s the turn of the century about 1905 I reckon now why is that it's got a 1930s case as you can see from these legs and yet the piano itself seems to be 1905 something amiss well not really because what used to happen quite a lot in the old days was the shops would actually put a new case on in onto the old piano innards would be the same almost in one piece if you like but they'd build or change the casework so that it fitted with the fashions of the day which in the 1930s were more like this something else i want to show you because i had a, one of these pianos um, almost exactly the same vintage and i loved it and i had it for years and years and years and i only sold it because i needed room to get yamahas in and it's got a lovely tone and it's because this is a straight strung piano and i'll show you the difference so all the strings on this piano go straight down but on a modern piano such as this yamaha over here you'll see the difference the bass strings cross over the treble strings so the strings are longer and because of that you get a very full rich tone but in a straight strung piano, not quite so full and rich, but some people prefer it because it's softer and it has a very sonorous sort of tone. So, you know, it isn't bad just because it's straight strung. It's also under damped. People talk about over dampers and under dampers. So this has a modern damper system in that it's under damped, but it's straight strung and the straight stringing really is purely to do with the tone. The dampers work just as well as a modern piano. So there we are, and I'd like to play you something, so I'll just put the case back on now. So I just wanted to show you how rich and beautiful that tone is. It's got a lovely sort of open, mellow kind of tone.
timbre. It's really nice. And um, as I say, my own piano was a, a Broadwood for many years, just like, like this one. And um, I had many years of pleasure from it. I absolutely love playing it. And you feel almost that it's giving you back as much as you're putting into it, I find, expression-wise. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and that if you're considering an older piano um, and you only have a certain budget, this may be the one for you or maybe you're coming back to piano after a long time and you just love the tone and the feel and you like the older instruments. Thank you for watching and I hope to hear from you soon by email or by text. Bye for now.